everybody! We're Jess and Freddie, and Winnie of course, and we've embarked on a six month home renovation of our London house. After years of saving and two years living here, we took the plunge and knocked down a few walls and added a new floor in the loft. It is chaos and we're living through our build and sharing all the highs and lows of taking on a home repo project. It is torrential rain right now and it's like it's gotten so dark in here. Just got my patio door open, don't mind me, whilst it's raining outside and Winnie and I are very dry in here. Okay, wow, our garden is completely flooded. Obviously that rain was very unfortunate, especially with there was a lot of flooding up and down the country from it. However, it did actually for us show us the guttering wasn't fully secure at the side of our house so it was a good test obviously this is our side return where our gate used to be and if you can just see the gray roof and then there's a black guttering in between them there's this flap that should sit in the gutter to allow water from the roof to spill over and then drain off and it wasn't on the gutter, it was behind it. So all the water was draining down this wall. I don't know if you can see from here, but like the center of this wall is slightly discolored. It's a bit darker because the water was just splashing down. Freddie text our builder immediately. And this is obviously the beauty of having a local builder. He came straight over in the torrential rain and um, they fixed it and just put the flap over. So it was just something tiny that was missed. It's good to get these things checked and sorted now. Also, just love how everything's coming together now. So the decorators have finished. They've done such a fantastic job in this room. This is Valspar Putty White shade, which is very similar to Gentle Shadows, which we've got in the hallway. You can't really tell the difference. It's just that this one is ever so slightly lighter. Also, obviously need to clean the skylights, but look at the view. Love seeing that. That is Freddie's office where he's working right now. And then that is our bedroom window. So we still have a few things to do in the house that aren't quite complete and there is quite a long lead time on them. So first up is getting a door off the kitchen here. So we need to do a door here because building control state for a three story house, kitchen has to have a fire door. I don't want to block off this lovely view. So I'm gonna get a glass door. They're quite expensive, especially for the steel ones. So instead of a steel frame glass door, we're gonna go wood. The price difference is about three grand, so I think it was four and a half for the steel and it's 1.2 for wood. I'll link the company below, the wooden door company. Six week wait, I haven't ordered it yet because I can't decide between a single door and a panel or double doors that are a bit smaller. If I do the double doors, it's gonna cover this light switch. I think the aesthetic of double doors is nicer, but that will annoy me. So I think we're gonna have to go single like a wider door, single, and then a slim side panel. Next up, we have to get our banister. So the company I ordered from, Jackson Turner's, for the steel, thin, black rods going up, and then an oak banister. It, the production is delayed, it's not coming until August, so we've gotta wait for that. And then lastly, this is just the dumping ground, so. <laughs> Eventually we'll be bringing this sofa back in here and then we're gonna repaint this room, keeping the dark wall, because I just adore it. And then we're painting the gray walls the same color as out here so that it all flows. And then just gotta kind of restyle this room because yeah, it's a mess. Also, seeing as we're in the hallway, I haven't shown you an update of the downstairs toilet. So come with me. Um, let's just for full effect, right, there we go. The secret door that's not so secret with that giant handle. <laughs> in we go. And let me just get the light sensor on, there we go. Fur and wall, green smoke on all the ceiling, the walls, everything. We've also got this panel here, which is our electricity board all panelled in. We just need to do touch-ups on where they've like filled bits and um, they just need a paint over you can see the marks apart from that i am so in love with this little room got the gold taps and the sink and you know that was all my separate amazon purchases and they all pretty much are the same color which is a relief i'll link them all below and the sink and the tiles and everything um this is tile flare and they were 69 pounds a tile if you can see it's 
600 by 1.2 so they're large slabs and then they did two stacked on top of each other and then they did these slim trims for the side we've also got a short projection wall hung toilet here so it's not as deep so i think this is 460 deep and they normally come out like 565 and once you've got the cistern as well they normally are about a 700 depth which wasn't going to work because this is the door frame so that fits nice and snug lastly need to work on the garden we're not in a hurry because well look at it so just slowly doing a bit of planting and we need to actually repaint the patio back here because it did get kind of destroyed in the build so this was like a walkway for the builders and as you can see like over here we've still got the pattern and then over here it's all rubbed off so I'm gonna repaint that stencil down and then once that's done we're gonna lay turf so a very successful day of cleaning. My kitchen is looking fabulous. A little tour. Not everything is put away yet, but we are getting there. And as we do, it just feels a little bit more like home. Step one of any recipe. Cheers. We've got a friendly helper. Okay, so I wanted to save like all my opinions and details of the kitchen for the kitchen reveal vlog, but I just have to say, because I'm cooking properly for the first time using the whole hob and it feels great, I just wanted to say how brilliant this feature is on our induction hob. Instead of plus and minus for adjusting the temperature, you just press the button. So you can go two or you could go nine and immediately it like bubbles up the heat. I do not want to put that on nine. Let me get that back to four. Um, we do not want that overflowing because I am aware that that is way too full, but this is the biggest pot I have. So we're working with what we've got. Um, but yeah, I just love that feature. I think it's so cool. Love it. Good morning. So both my sisters are here now. They are upstairs gassing away, but we are just about to leave to the beach. It is 7.30 in the morning. So we're hitting the road early and going to West Wittering, mine and Freddie's favorite beach. And I'm so excited to show my sisters it. So they both stayed round last night and that meant we had another little guest. So this is Juno, my sister's dog. I love it because Winnie and Juno just play together all the time. Um, so they've been non-stop all night, haven't they? You ready for the beach? You love the beach, don't you? So we have had a beautiful day at the beach and now we have come to my in-laws for lunch. So Freddie's parents have put on a beautiful spread as usual. So we're having some picky bits in the garden. We are on the last leg of our day around West Sussex and we are now doing a wine tasting at Timwood. Freddie and I went a couple of weeks ago, loved it so much. We have taken Emily and Alice back. Literally. I'm just about to start a little bit of gardening because the garden is still trash and I just know that this little snoozy angel is gonna jump up and try and get involved the second I pick up the watering can. <laughs> Let's see. This is where my gardening comes to a halt because this just jumped on my foot. Can you see the frog? It's been so rainy recently that they obviously are just like coming out and living in all the puddles and stuff. Oh no, and Winnie is around so I'm gonna have to get her inside because 
I don't know the situation with frogs and poison. Also, soon need to do something about the chicken wire installation art in my garden. So, Winnie and I want to chat to you about a service which I think is absolutely brilliant. I will be doing the talking, no barking, you have been warned. So Vets Now is the out of hours emergency vet service and they have recently launched a video Vets Now service which allows you to speak to qualified vets seven days a week. This service allows pet owners who may be worried about their pet's health and are not sure if it's an emergency to seek advice immediately over video with fully licensed vets. I think this is such a great service that has launched, especially for the last 18 months where there has been a huge increase in pet owners, ourselves included. And I don't know about you, but it is so difficult to get a last minute vet appointment that's not deemed an emergency. So a feature like this is so valuable to get peace of mind on anything you may be worried about. I just really wish I'd known about this service sooner because there have been times during this build for the last five months where things have happened that we're unsure about and they're not emergencies, but we would like to have seeked vet advice. For example, when he cut her face on something in the garden and we didn't know what it was, it was probably building rubble and we weren't able to see a vet about it in short notice and it wasn't an emergency. And I just feel like this video of Vets Now service is the perfect solution to a situation like that, especially just from the comfort of your own home or anywhere in the UK actually. So we went to the beach the other day and we took Winnie and we took Winnie's cousin, Pugglia Gino, and we were discussing the hazards on the beach for dogs. That this service would be brilliant if something happened when you were away from home. So at the beach, for example, when your dog drinks too much seawater and can get sick, eats things they shouldn't, seaweed, thank you very much, and just general hazards at the beach that they could trod their little paws on. So the Video Vets Now service has actually seen huge success since it launched in the pandemic last year, and they are actually gonna keep it going as a regular thing, which I think is great. It's 24 pounds for a consult, which is refunded if you then have to go into a clinic. And for a very reasonable rate in the comfort of your own home, getting advice on whether your pet is gonna need further help and seeing to or not is invaluable. And I just wanted to share it because I think it is a really great service and great message of responsibly looking after your pets and doing what is best for them. You can just check it out on my description for more info and thanks for watching our ad. Um, our plumber just left, he just serviced our boiler. Then he told me this story about Thames Water, he was like, they're a disgrace. Now I can't say a bad word about them because as I explained last week, they didn't charge us a single penny in the end for replacing our lead pipe after saying it might be three and a half grand. So they're in my good books. But, this is shocking, he was saying that Thames Water is so behind in fixing street leakages and water pipe bursts that the amount of water that London and the Thames Water region is losing daily could fill up Battersea Power Station twice in one day, that's how much water is getting wasted because of burst pipes. I'm shocked, that's terrible. So I thought I'd just share that little stat with you. About to show you a solution. <laughs> A solution, a practical solution to a very real problem okay. that, that I see as a problem and that you don't. Okay. And that's where on earth do we put all of our silly paint pots <laughs> that you um, insist we keep. Because I wanted a different colour in every room that looks exactly the same. Yes, and so we have about 35 paint pots and nowhere to put them. Got it. So, so I have right. designed a solution and here it is. Show me, show Shut your me. Eyes. Okay, fine. Along with the pig. <laughs> right. You may open. Practical. Get that out of my garden right <laughs> No. What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? you got them all on display? It's a shelf. What's out of the garden? No. We don't have anywhere else to put it. I'm not happy. We don't know. <laughs> smart paint studio in my garden, Brett. Well, <laughs> you, your idea was having them scattered throughout the house and the garden in bags that were getting rained on. <laughs> Look, I've even put a little roof on it. <laughs> so they're water protected. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, until you come up with a better solution. Okay, accepted, I'll have one tomorrow. That's where it stays. <laughs> I think it's ingenious. I mean, can, it's very tidy, we, I applaud you for that. We can put the barbecue in front of it. Okay, How fine. would they know? How, don't, nobody's gonna know. How would they know? Okay, fine, I accept. Temporary solution.
Right, it's Friday evening, the sun is shining. So we're gonna have a couple of drinks out there and enjoy our evening. So thank you so much for watching another one of my vlogs. This is quite a like lifestyle-y one because the building work is finished and we haven't done that much ourselves this week. However, we have both got the week off next week. Supposed to be going to Ibiza, but we canceled that one because it went back on the amber list. So we are home for a holiday in our house and we're gonna get to work and do loads of jobs. Not quite Ibiza, but building our dream home. So it's fine. <laughs> so I will see you next week with another video. Bye.